today we are going to start drawing a composition of cats that is um, similar to the artist we've been studying, Laurel Birch. So this is just an image of three cats that I've put together. They're overlapping. So I'm going to show you how to start this composition so that you can in turn have three overlapping cats similar to Laurel Birch. I am going to be using a marker, but I want you to do this in pencil. The reason I'm using a marker is so that you can see it clearly. So, if you've got your paper, we're going to start right in the middle. We're going to start with the center cat. And we're going to just start right in the middle of the paper. And towards the top, we're going to draw a curved line. That'll be for cat's head number one. Pull his ears up, just kind of in a triangle manner. And then I'm going to pull his face down. I'm going to pull it up. It's almost like a U. And then I'm going to give him a little mouth. I'm not going to fill his entire body in yet because I want to make sure my other two cats will fit in as well. So right here, I'm going to draw another face of a cat really close to this one. There's the top of the head. Two ears. I'm going to pull his face down and up down and up. Give him a little mouth. And then over here we'll do the same. We'll add a third cat. See how we're got it divided into threes. So draw the top of the head. Give him a couple of ears. Pull his face down and up down and up and now he's got a mouth. So now I have cat one, two, and three. We can start adding some details now. We're going to give them big eyes. I'll draw a curved line here. It's going to go down, give him a funky nose, and another eye over here to match. Then you're going to give him really big eyes. Another really big eye. Inside there we have the iris and the pupil. And I'm going to go ahead and shit color in the pupil, always leaving a little white spot for the reflection of light. Iris and the pupil. Color it in, leave a little white speck. We can do the same for these guys. We'll give him a nose first. Then some eyes. Yours are not going to look exactly like mine. I don't want them to. I want you to make yours your own. But they do have large eyes. But those weren't exactly the same, but that's okay. And a third one over here. We'll give him a square nose. Some big eyes. Irises, pupils. Iris, pupil. Shade in that pupil, leaving a speck of white. Decorations to the ears if you want. And then we're going to add the bodies. This one's going to go off the page this way. So there's the back of him going off the page. Then he's going to come straight down. I'm going to give him two feet. 
Before I give him this other foot though, I'm going to pull his body around and give him a tail. And then his other foot fits in right there. This one, the back's going to go this way. His tail's going to come up and around. And we're going to pull this down and give him his legs. And the last one's going off the page this way. Give him a tail. And his legs. Little toes. And then what you're going to do at this point is add all kinds of patterns and decorations. This one's got purple dots and circles. This one's got triangles. This one has stripes. And I painted this one rainbow colors. You can use your imagination and do whatever you want. So have fun with your Laurel Birch Cats. I can't wait to see what they look like when they're finished.